Hi, my name is Leon. In this video, I will be introducing you to my new China Blaster. And it's not just about standard darts. I've built some crazy ones made of metal, wood, and even jelly. To test how powerful they are, I've designed my own device to measure firelink strength. So let's jump in, starting with the fireborn dart. Honestly, it was pretty pointless to cast this dart in aluminium. I could have just machined it directly on the lathe, but then it wouldn't be in the fireborn. The king doesn't just shine golden, it's actually coated with real gold. Are you enjoying the video? I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to support the channel. When I was making the dart out of plaster, the tusk suddenly hit me. Hey, this kind of looks like a tampon. And then I thought, why not just buy an actual tampon? The dart with the tiny firecracker on the tip? Hands down, it was the most fun to shoot. The 3D printed dart took the most effort, with countless experiments and 10 to 20 versions before finding the best design. That's all the ammunition. Time for the next step. But before we get started, let me show you my secret blaster, straight from China. It's going to serve as our test device. Okay, I overdid it. The blaster is actually pretty good. Look this! <laughs> now it's time to build the power probe.
This display is honestly overkill. I'm only using a few pixels of it. The foundation of my device is an ESP32, a load cell with a signal amplifier, an LED panel and a 2 inch TFT display. These components form the core of the design. Here, I'm programming the software for my power probe. The goal is to capture the data from the load cell, amplify it and display it on the screen. Using an ESP32, I control all components including the LED panel and the TFT display. The code ensures that the measurement data is processed and displayed in real time. Now it's time to design all the parts. Using CAD software, I created custom components like the target, the display frame and the sensor mount. Afterward, I 3D printed and assembled everything, step by step. To ensure durability, I designed the sensor mount with extra stability in my mind. For the material I used PETG, which is excellent for handling mechanical stress. Recently, I picked up a super cool trick. When you use super glue and sprinkle soda on it, it hardens instantly. This makes it perfect for securing a screw in place. If you're working with two components resin, make sure to wear gloves and consider using safety goggles. Are the scenes too long or would you like more details? Let me know in the comments.
When I hit the LED panel, it lights up red and the calculated force is displayed. Pushing the red button, we set the value and the panel turns green again. Later, kilograms will be converted to newtons. I think it would be so much cooler if the panel looked like a target, a red dot in the center surrounded by blue wings. And when I hit it, a simple animation plays. Can I pull this off? Mm, probably not. But with ChatGPT's help, maybe I can? Oh, you already made it happen. Thank you, Shetty. Thank you so much. Hey, Leon. That was no problem for me at all. If you have another task for me, feel free to bring it on. No thanks. I can apply the film by myself. Now let's calibrate the device. I have an object with a known weight and when I place it on the sensor, it should display the exact weight. If it works, we can convert it to newtons. <laughs> I think we have a problem. But the tomato will help us. And I like tomatoes. During the first test shot, I noticed the values were too low. Only 0 0.003 newtons. I couldn't find a fix, but the values are consistent. So we'll turn 0 0.003 newtons into 30 tomatoes. This makes the darts easy to compare. Get ready for the final shootout. Okay, the dust one have too much power. is just too heavy. He barely leaves the barrel and just drops onto the sensor. These values don't count. Even tough the results aren't that impressive, the start feels the most intense to me and is actually a lot of fun. Wow, 47 tomatoes. Wow, and even better, 50 tomatoes. And now the final results. In first place, the dust start. In second place, the orange ugly. And in third place, the glue gunner. I hope you enjoy the video and that the results doesn't disappoint you. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one.